Hi, my name is Nancy Olson, and I wanted to share with you how Legacy Moments Last Forever got started. I moved into a condominium here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin a couple of years ago, and I met a woman here. She is 92 years old, and she was a nurse in World War II in London. And I wanted to hear her story. I love that British accent she has, and she's an absolutely lovely woman. And so she shared with me a number of her stories, and it really impacted me because I've never known what it's like not to be safe. But the folks there in World War II had to go downstairs in the subways to be safe from the bombings, which occurred many, many nights when they were in London in World War II. She was a student nurse at the time, and so she and a friend of hers, another student nurse, decided to do something they should not ought to do. They stayed on the top floor of the hospital where they were student nurses, and that was the night that a bomb exploded right next to the hospital. Not a good thing. There was shattered glass all over the place, but the girls were safe. They were just young girls and teenagers, not even 20 years old at the time. But their supervisor nurse gave them a very stern warning because these two young girls thought they were going to lose their jobs as intern nurses at the hospital. But because it was a war situation and all help needed, all help was needed, they retained their jobs. So from then on, they stayed downstairs in the lower levels of the hospital and retained their safety. So I wanted to record her story, but she said, no, my family knows the story. They've heard it before. And she just really didn't want to bring up those memories again for it to be recorded. So I told this to a friend of mine and she said, well, you can record my story. She asked me if I had any legacy questions. And so where's the first place you go? You go on Google, and Google has got a whole list of questions, different websites where you can go and grab some questions for legacies. So I sent two of those files down there to Georgia. Her husband opened up the file, and he said he wanted his story shared too. So this is how things got started. Dick and Barbara left Georgia. They came up to my place here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They gave me a 100 photos, which I scanned into my computer, and they were all divided up into chapters. And so the next day, Barbara recorded her photos, shared her stories, and Dick shared his stories with his photos. Then the day after that, I put them in my living room, sat them down together, and with my cell phone, recorded their stories. I interviewed them with the interview questions that they had pre-selected of the questions that they wanted to talk about. So we have 20 questions videos with the photos and then we have another 20 videos where I interviewed them. It turned out to be an absolutely wonderful time. Uh, they have 55 years of marriage and they wanted to make sure that they could share their lifetime stories with their kids. It was a gift they gave to their children at Christmas time and it's saved on a little bitty thumb drive which they now have in their safety deposit box and it's on YouTube. So with the click of a link they can send out this link to their friends or other family members who would like to look at it and just scroll down through these 40 videos and see what Dick and Barbara looked like in 2016. So this is how Legacy Moments Last Forever got started. And I want to be able to share with you how you too can record your Legacy Moments for your family. So my goal is simple, to help you record your stories.